Let's look at up uh, using that duck under and using a striking option from there, right? So, so say we're kind of close to the wall here. As I, pull over, I push into the wall here, I'm going to pull on his neck. I'm slightly trapping his arm temporarily. And from here, I'm going to rip into his body from here, just start ripping in. While I'm still pressing with my head, so I pull him with my arm here. So I've got his arm slightly trapped. It's not going to be there forever, but it's going to give you a few seconds just to start ripping in to the body from there. So from, from here, you can, you can start to go body, 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 hum, hum, head from there. Body, body, head. <laughs> so from here, we, we tuck underneath, we draw it in the wall. <laughs> Our uppercut. As that uppercut lifts his head up, boom, the elbow, that elbow comes in. From here, <laughs> here. As your head pops up, maybe you can crack his head here. There's a hammer, fist, there's a nice angle for the hammer. Bang. You have to sort of come out a little bit here, draw him in here. But I'm not letting go of this, if I, if I can avoid it, just to give me, give me a bit of time. So as soon as I start doing this, he's going to pull his arm out, he's going to turn around. So you, you are sacrificing a little bit of power, because I don't have that momentum that I would have if I didn't have the, uh, the truck. So I'm using my head, I'm just using the hip for power. All right, so th this technique requires the right kind of energy from, from your attacker here. If I don't get the right energy, it doesn't work. It's one of those type of techniques, right? So I kind of need that forward energy where he's pressing into me, right? Yeah. So, so, so he, he might punch me and, and we crash and we end up in this kind of position here. And I feel him pushing forward. And, and I use that uh, technique, which we call the tornado throw, right? So it's a circular kind of action there. So what, how it works is, is he's pressing into me I'm going to pull down on his arm, like this, on his tricep. I'm going to bring his head to his shoulder, like that. At the same time, I step inside that energy. As you press your I step inside. Now, that happens sometimes, not always. Nothing works all the time. All right. If I have a wall behind me, I can use that to my advantage where I throw him into the wall, right? So as he presses in here, so he presses into me here. So whatever happens uh, from there, it's up to you, right? So I, I could follow up with a strike and a takedown from there if I wanted. Or you might just leave it from there. You might just throw him into that wall and just leave. All right. So let's, let's try that.